Hello, welcome to SQL02Pro.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, I'll be talking about comparison conditions. Okay, so you have seen this couple of times earlier as well. A greater than condition is pretty simple expression, greater than expression. So usually you expression could be anything, okay? It could be value, it could be column, it could be combination as we're gonna see in coming tutorials. Uh, but anyway, usually the syntax is some column name greater than some value. Similarly, we have a less than condition. Usually the syntax is column name less than some value and we have greater than equal to condition and we have less than equal to condition. So this is pretty simple. I'll, I'll, I, don't, I don't need to show you examples, but the reason I'll show you example is I want to point out uh, two other things in the light of this uh, comparison uh, condition study. Okay, I want to show you how you can use these conditions, uh, th or these comparisons on text uh, string values. Okay, so usually less than sign makes sense for a numeric value but h how you can benefit by applying this on a text string that's I'm going to show you in, in the examples all right uh, so let me go to Oracle I think I've already uh, logged in to save some time so here I am on the screen where I can execute queries okay so one thing I'll show you here is how you can apply the comparison of printed on text string values. The other thing I want to show you is, let me go back to the presentation, how you can use two column names. Like usually the syntax is one column name, like column name less than equal to some value. I want to show you how you can use column name in both expressions. One column name less than equal to some other column name. Okay, So there could be some queries where you have to use uh, condition like that so let's see what we have uh, I'm doing a select all on uh, employee table employee control enter uh, so this is what we have okay so so let's say we have another column here alter table employee and add let's say we are also tracking the current salary then we're all not only that we're also tracking their salary they used to earn last year okay so let's say the column name is previous salary it's also a number type so I'm just using an alter table statement to add a column you have not studied alter table statement of formally yet so it's okay if you don't know how to use it so I'm just using it so that I can create some ground so to show you what we are actually studying the comparison uh, conditions okay so in coming tutorials I'll show you in detail how to use uh, the alter statement okay so alter table employee add uh, previous salary number not ended prop properly what we, what's the problem Oh, I have to select. So it's a matter of uh, me not using this uh, the tool properly. So I have to select the whole thing. I keep on forgetting because in Toad, where when you do a Control Enter, it will execute the current statement. Uh, you don't have to even select the whole thing. Well, here you have to select the whole thing. I'm used to of Toad. Anyway, so let's we have added a column. Let's do a describe command. Describe employee. So I have to select the whole thing and control enter and here you go so we have another column previous salary so let's do a select star from employee this uh, column is empty so what I want to do is I want to <coughs> simply uh, update in a smart way I don't want to manually run five statements that will take some time so update employee set previous salary equal to current salary minus 200 for most of the employees so where ID is less than equal to oh, I don't know why this I keep changing it's less than 3 okay oh again same problem all right and salary we are basically at 200 for everybody who has ID greater than greater than uh, three. All right. So let's see what we have now. Okay. So now we have created some ground to understand our current tutorial. Okay. So again, we haven't really of officially um, learned the update statement. 
so that's okay if you don't understand what I did here okay but if you do understand that's good we'll be learning a uh, lots of uh, you know different usage of update statement in current tutorial in coming tutorials all right so this is what we have right now and uh, let me delete everything else so let's say you have been asked to pull up all the records where the current salary is less than uh, the last year previous salary okay how would you do that so this is how you, you would do it where salary is less than or equal to uh, maybe that's what they have asked you if they have only asked you for the less than then you're not gonna put equal to okay so previous salary so now look at this condition here usually we put some value here okay pull up all the records where salary is less than thousand but instead of putting a value we are putting another column name so again uh, always imagine how Oracle is processing uh, this SQL Oracle is visiting each record one by one from top to bottom at least this is how you have to imagine okay in order to understand each record from top to bottom and Oracle is seeing if this condition has it returns to true for that row or not if it returns true then that row will be selected for display otherwise no so for example Oracle will visit row number one and uh, see is thousand is less than 800 no it's not so row number one is not selected for the display so always think in that terms similarly let's say if you have been asked to pull up the, all the records where current salary is greater than the last salary this is how uh, you will write it and this is what you will get okay now another thing I want to point out in this tutorial is how you can apply this comparison uh, operators uh, on text values why would you do that okay so let's say you have been asked to pull up all the names of the employees or all the records where the name of the employee is either uh, uh, in alphabetical order they are following uh, like it starts with either I or or a letter that comes after I okay so this is what you're gonna do where name is greater than H so if the name starts with H it won't be selected but if the name starts with I or I J K L or whatever it would be selected because I is greater than H and J is greater than H in terms of uh, these uh, alphanumeric comparison alright so sorry you have to go greater than I because Hassan Mir is greater than H I'm gonna tell you why so this would basically answer the query that you want to see all the names that starts with either I or some character which comes after I okay so that's how you're gonna write it alright so now if you have been asked to pull up all the names where the name starts with H or character that comes after H so this would be the query okay so in terms of alphanumeric comparison B is greater than A okay and uh, C is greater than B now one thing you have to understand is let's change the name of Larry Ellison update employee set name is equal to Hassan Mir has it cha yeah. again changed to Canadian French so Hassan Mir where ID is equal to 2 okay select everything from employee alright see record number two name is Hassan Mir in all in lower case and record number one name is Hassan Mir in in title case and let's change I shouldn't have deleted that update statement update employee set name is equal to Hassan Mir where ID equal to three alright now let's see what we have in the table select all from employee employee okay see the first record is title case second one is all lower case third is all upper case okay now select all employees where name is greater than H okay everything is selected now take a look at this carefully where the name is greater than smaller H only this is selected lowercase has said me why this is why because lowercase letter in alphanumeric comparison are greater than uppercase letters okay 
so just keep that in mind because so having said that <coughs> Hassan Mir is technically greater than Hassan Mir okay so it's gonna be like this all lowercase Hassan Mir is greater than title case Hassan Mir is greater than all uppercase Hassan Mir alright so that's why if I execute this statement I want to see everything that is greater than or let's remove equal to let's greater than uppercase H then I'm gonna see all three Hassan Mir's if I'm gonna do lowercase H I'm gonna see only one Hassan Mir okay now if I say that I want to see everything that is greater than H and A now if you're providing two characters now Oracle is gonna compare uh, the first two characters of each string value so the first character has to be greater than H okay if first character is H then the second character will be compared if second character is also A same A uppercase A then third character will be compared okay so in this case Hassan Mir would be greater than H A alright why because H H will match one on one to one with this H A will match one to one with this H now Oracle will try to compare the third character now S is gonna be matched with nothing so S is of course greater than nothing and uh, so that's why Hassan Mir will be declared as greater than H A if the, the if the name would only be H A then this would be false because H A is not greater than H A H A is equal to H A okay so that's how it works now what will happen to this Hassan Mir which is an upper case which is in title case is this greater than H A okay now again think uh, in terms of the same sequence Oracle will try to match the first character now first character will be compared with the first character here yes they are equal now the second character will be because since the first character is equal now the second character will be compared now this a is greater than uppercase a because we know that lowercase a is in alphanumeric sequence is up greater than uppercase a so this will be selected as well so this will be true this will be true okay and uh, what about this is this greater than h now this will be resulting resulting in true just by comparing the first character oracle will not even visit the second character why because this lowercase h is greater than uppercase h so all three will be should be selected okay see all three hassans are selected here okay but now if i change this condition to lowercase h a what would happen this uppercase h is it's going to be like this now okay now these will be evaluated now uppercase H is not greater than lowercase H so this will be false uppercase H is not greater than lowercase H remember lowercase H comes as has higher value in alphanumeric ordering okay so this will be false as well now here the first character will match lowercase H is equal to lowercase now the second character will, will be compared this a is equal to this lowercase a now third will be compared this s is greater than because we don't have anything here so of course this will win this is higher in value so only one sh Hassan Mir should be selected here see okay right now we're ignoring anything other than Hassan Mir just to understand this uppercase lowercase and uh, all like sorting order for alphanumeric values all right now what would I do if I do this h a uppercase H and lowercase H uh, A now in this case is Hassan Mir all in uppercase greater than this title case H A this H is equal to this H now the second character will be compared uppercase A is not equal to lowercase A so this will be false okay now what about this this H will be matched one on one with this H this A will be matched with this A and this S is of course greater than we don't have anything here so this is has a higher value so this will this is true what about this one this H is greater than lowercase H is greater than uppercase H so this will be true as well second character will not be even visited because the first character was 
second character is only visited if first character ties third character will only be visited if second character ties okay so only two values should be selected two Hassan should be selected okay uh, so that's all I wanted to show you I wanted to explain you how you can use uh, comparison and how would that benefit you uh, if you want to you know select a particular string value that starts with some character or you can even go uh, you don't have to even one provide one character you can even provide first few characters uh, and the second thing I wanted to point out is that lowercase uh, characters have higher value in comparison sequence than uppercase characters alright so that's pretty much it I see you in next tutorial